qu'ils assemblent. Hello everyone, this video is not an educational video, but rather a general vlog showing you how I go about the reconditioning process. It's not too technical, so please watch it comfortably. The needles inside the nozzle have been severely scratched. In such cases, the nozzle needs to be replaced. To ensure accuracy, we loosen the part to be measured and then tighten it again for measurement. The standard measurement for product 338002790's ball lift is 0.056 with a tolerance of X zero, zero zero four. Some people reuse high pressure seals, but even if you remove the high pressure seal from the A valve and reattach it, there's a high probability of defects occurring. It is recommended to replace it with a new one. If solenoid O-rings are used for a long time, they can harden and become unusable, so they should always be checked carefully. You need to distinguish between the front and back sides of the ceiling ring and assemble it correctly. We will grind the A-valve. The smoothness is crucial. While A-valves can be visually inspected for defects, most are distinctly identified as defective or not through grinding tests.
The ball lift comes in normally, but for greater accuracy, we lightly grind it on the sapphire. It has been precisely aligned, 0 0.056. The nozzle lift is operated based on a standard of 5.65 T Schmier, 0 0.1. It has been precisely aligned to the 5.65 standard. Insert a new nozzle. Tighten it to the correct torque. You can clearly see a significant difference between the flow rate and the leak rate. Thank you for watching the video so far. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I'll see you with more great content.